Nuhaka Oputama Road is dropping into the sea, leaving a concerned resident scratching his head over what the plan of action should be. The road is the main access to Mahia, a peninsula home to about 1,100 permanent residents, but many more in the summer months. Road cones have become a familiar sight on the road, where coastal erosion has created slumps and drop-offs, forcing drivers into a single lane at some sections. At one point, traffic comes within a few metres of a cliff's edge. The issue has Mahia resident Merv Goodley, who has lived in the area for 39 years, fearing the road could blow out completely and become the next beach loop, an area further up the coast where bad weather has taken its toll, creating slips and washouts. That's what I'd put the road in there, get rid of the rail. And I think it's a simple... Why won't they say, get rid of the rail? Beach Loop has particular interest to Goodley because of its significance as part of the Napier-Gisborne Railroad, which ceased operation in 2012 following severe weather. In May, the railroad was thrust back into the spotlight when it was revealed Gisborne District Council, Hawke's Bay Regional Council and Wairoa District Council had spent $60,000 on a report looking into a potential reopening. Goodley feared holding on to hope for rail reinstatement had come at the expense of Nuhaka Oputama Road, where at a section before Oputama, the road had been reduced to a single lane, while the dormant track sits adjacent, unused for about 10 years. But Wairoa District Council said it was working with Kiwi Rail, which had agreed to move the rail inland at the blowhole site to allow for shifting the road over. The council was aware of two new dropouts, one along Black's Beach where the road had been reduced to a single lane, and one along Mahia East Coast Road. Both occurred during the heavy rainfall events of March and April. Coastal erosion and Mahia connectivity had been identified as key areas of the Council's Land Transport Activity Management Plan for 2021 to 2031. The Council was also working with external funders to secure 25% of an estimated $8.4 million required to strengthen the coastline. The remainder would be funded by Waka Kotahi.